We, we had an extraordinary hearing this week with the chiefs of staff of the various services, including the chief of staff of the Army, General Milley. Uh, we had the chief of naval operations, uh, also the chiefs of staff uh, from the Marine Corps uh, and the Air Force. Uh, and uh, it was really very revealing. Uh, I saw uh, General Milley actually at the White House today and thanked him for his candidness, uh, his uh, honesty uh, of pointing out that the uh, situation of uh, budgetary instability could actually cost U.S. casualties. That means uh, it's a life and death situation. And so I, I hope the American people will focus on this. And uh, I know I'll be working with Chairman Mac Thornberry uh, to provide for passing a budget, uh, passing a supplemental, uh, and uh, avoiding a long-term con uh, continuing resolution. Well, I'm really grateful. Uh, earlier this year, I introduced a resolution to condemn uh, the uh, regime in North Korea, uh, the dictatorship in North Korea that is building uh, intercontinental ballistic missiles and also miniaturizing uh, nuclear uh, warheads. Uh, which could strike the West Coast of the United States. It was a uh, overwhelming vote, and I'm just very, very grateful. Really grateful that the military officers of America came by. Uh, the state president, uh, Colonel David Lobb of Aiken, came by. Uh, they have been very helpful in promoting legislation that I uh, have provided, uh, which provides for uh, an adjustment of uh, benefits to. Uh, widows of service members killed uh, in action. So I appreciate uh, very much uh, MOA coming by and bringing the most um, up-to-date information on how this should be addressed on behalf of our veterans and their family members, military family members. I was also happy uh, that the Salkahatchee Leadership Group came by. Uh, these are uh, young business leaders uh, from the Low Country, uh, including uh, the communities that I represent in Barnwell, and I was very grateful uh, adjacent communities uh, in Hampton, Jasper, Allendale, uh, Bamberg. It's inspiring to see the uh, young leadership of that uh, area. Uh, a really highlight indeed was to be uh, with the Wounded Warriors. These are severely injured troops and the Wounded Warrior Project has had a bike ride. But it's a way for them to get together with each other, to bond with each other, to recover. Uh, and uh, so they were at the White House today. Very uplifting experience uh, to be there with people who have truly um, put their lives at risk to provide for what we know, and that is freedom is not free. I want to thank you for watching This Week with Wilson, and I want to extend an invitation. Uh, the office that uh, currently we have, the new office, uh, is in the Longworth Office Building 1436. Please come by and visit. I want to, again, I'm just grateful to serve in Congress. Thank you.